In this video I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for Xiaomi 15 Ultra. As a disclaimer, I'm gonna say that some of these features are available on other devices as well, not only other Xiaomi devices or Redmi devices and so on, but other brands as well. Nevertheless, these features that I'm gonna mention, I just find them useful or practical or interesting. So let's get right into it. So first we're gonna start with editing. Uh, more precisely, uh, if we try to edit photos, then we can find a bunch of AI tools that I think are pretty cool. They work decent. I think they are decent enough uh, to use them. Sometimes the results are mixed, but in general, they work pretty well. We can enhance our photos with AI. We can expand it with AI. So if we try to expand it, then we can choose a custom size. So let's say we're going to add this left side and a little bit of top and bottom to see how it looks like. Of course, we also have the eraser where we can remove subjects from the photo and much more. Therefore, if you tend to edit photos, then you might be happy with all these tools that are available on this device. And this is how it looks like. Of course, the results may vary depending on uh, what we decide to do with the photo. But as you can see here, we have the eraser. We can even remove reflections with AI tools and so on and so forth. While being in the um, gallery, we can also hide photos and videos. So if you want to hide something in the gallery, you can easily do that. To do so, we need to press and hold our finger in order to select the first item. Of course, we can select multiple items at once. And then we want to press Add to Album, choose Private Album, and then OK. Of course, when you do this uh, for the first time, you'll need to set up the password. But essentially, if you want to access the hidden uh, folder or album you want to go to albums in the bottom right corner and then swipe down in order to reveal it and then of course we need to enter the password in order to get access to those hidden files if you tend to create to create sorry uh, voice memos or voice recordings you will be happy to know that we have a bunch of ai tools over here as well such as the option to separate speakers we have the trans uh, transcript option and translate options. So here we can find a bunch of tools that can be used in order to uh, translate the, the, the voice message that you recorded or just make it use in other ways, such as uh, converting the speech into a text. And then you can, of course, get the text to copy it to a document or something else that you might need. Of course, we can easily customize the theme by going to the theme store and here we can find a bunch of different themes that we can uh, install on our phone. However, if you want to, for example, get new apps only or app icons, actually, then you can still go through these themes and find the app that you that has interesting app icons. So let's say if I want to use these icons, then after I download the theme, I should be able to customize it and then I can select icons and then we can apply it. And there we go. So we can just change the shape and style of icons without changing anything else. We also have a bunch of different home screen trans uh, transitions. As you can see over here, this one looks like a box, like I'm rotating a box or some sort of. And in order to change it, we need to press and hold our finger on an empty space in the home screen. And then we want to go to settings here in the bottom right corner and then we have transition effects and we can choose to, for example, to make it slide, to make it tumble, to look like a page, cascade, rotate, cube and so on and so forth. So as you can see, a bunch of different options. So the default app drawer is kind of messy, I would say, therefore we can tap on this setting icon in the top right corner in order to, for example, disable app suggestions. You can also use categories, but I don't find them useful, so you can turn them off as well. We can also customize the background. So if you want to see the wallpaper while using the app drawer, then you can still do that. You can just customize it here. We have the scroll bar, scroll bar option, and we can even group icons uh, by color. So over here, if you enable this option at the bottom, you can choose different colors and search apps like this, which is pretty fun. There is also the IR Blaster, which is a feature that is not always present, especially on flagship phones. I feel like um, we can rarely see these nowadays. Uh, but yes, this phone has IR Blaster, which means that we can get the phone to make it work as a remote for your TV. So you can turn it 
you can turn on or off your TV by using your smartphone in case you lose a remote. I also have some setting tips that I think are worth checking out. So first in the settings we're gonna go to display and the brightness because over here we can increase the display resolution from Full HD Plus to WQHD Plus. If you tap on it you will exit to or return to the display and brightness settings. But we can actually go back and we can enable and disable the battery saver for this resolution. So if you don't like the phone um, switching the resolution back to the full HD plus from time to time in order to save the power, then of course you can turn it off over here. There is also AI dynamic wallpapers feature which is available in personalization and here we can find animated or live wallpapers that are created based on a photo. So we have some examples over here. This one is actually uh, my photo that I used and let the AI generate something. And they look pretty cool, so we can find animated wallpapers and use them pretty easily, like this. Feel free to try this feature out if you have some fun photos and find out what can be used by AI or how can be how can AI transition the photo on or, or convert it into an animation. You can also go to battery settings. And then over here, if you go to additional features, you should be able to find clear cache when device is locked, which is pretty cool. If you don't want your phone to store cache files all the time, you can, for example, set it to 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, when after 10 minutes, when the device was locked, um, the phone will automatically clear cache files. Of course, we have circle to search, which allows you to press and hold the home button or the navigation handle bar if you use the gestures and then you should be able to select the area that you want to search on the internet. You can also simply tap on it on the photo or something. You can extend it in order to fix the uh, captured area and then you can find Google results like this. Before you actually draw anything, there's also an option to translate the screen and use the music search. You can create an alternative space for your Xiaomi 15 Ultra or a separate environment which works like a second phone per se. Well, not really, but I think you get the idea. Essentially, if you go to settings and choose additional settings, you should be able to find uh, either users. For some reason, we have two pretty similar options. So we have users, but the one that I was actually talking about a second space. I think this one works a little bit better. This allows you to set up a designated screen lock for the second space and you can separate and secure your data. So essentially, if you have the lock screen, you can have two different passwords and depending on the password that you enter, you will enter a different space. And in that space, you can have different apps, different settings, different data. And let's go once again to additional settings, but this time we're gonna go to floating windows and here you should be able to find the sidebar, which for some reason now is missing. However, in the sidebar, there was an option that allowed you to, for example, enable the video toolbox. But from what I see, the toolbox is still there, even though the option is missing. So essentially, by default, over here on the left side, we have this handle that we can review in order to find additional options like the upscaling option or the style where we can adjust colors. We also have picture where we can um, improve animations and, enhance, and enable enhanced contours and so on and so forth. As a bonus, if you are wondering about all AI tools that we have available on Xiaomi 15 Ultra, then you can find them, uh, find more actually about them by going to settings and then by choosing Xiaomi Hyper AI and then AI App Boost you should be able to find the list of all AI tools that are implemented on this phone. So it's worth checking out in order to find out what else we can get out of our phone. And that's pretty much it. If there are some more things that you think are worth mentioning, then feel free to share them in the comments. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!